uh, this His Holiness and the young boy, this has now become a very emotional question. And uh, I had liked to ask this question as to who is the real victim in this story. Some say the boy, the family, but I find that the boy is fine. He had spoken well after the event. The mother was fine. The mother had spoken well after the event. All the 120 students who were there in that inaugural, in that uh, event, had no complaints whatsoever. I looked through all the interviews by the Tibetan media after the event was over. So at that time, there was nothing there. And it was already in the public media, in the public domain. And then, now, the fact of the matter is, His Holiness is now 87 years old. He's going to be 88. Because of his age, he needs to be supported from both sides. And you want to accuse an 87, 88-year-old man with this kind of a libel? And His Holiness has always lived in the sanctity of an oath-bound Buddhist monk, including celibacy. And his years of spiritual practice has him gone beyond sensorial pleasures. He has always been preaching this, the sensorial pleasures of eye, nose, <laughs> mouth, body, all these are very, very temporary. So you need to go deeper to redeem yourself from this samsara. And someone who preaches that, do you think will be influenced by a physical touch? He is beyond all that. And then the personal integrity of His Holiness was never ever in question in the last 87 years. So how can people pass a judgment on one incident? And that too, not knowing the full sequence of the event. And he lives an unblemished life, preaching and practicing compassion, nonviolence, and oneness of humanity. All his life. However, the recent incident involving His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the young boy in full public view. It didn't happen in some corner or some room or some, you know, undescriptive place. And this was perceived and interpreted differently. I don't blame them. People might have their opinion. They saw it that way because the clip was tailored for that. The clip was tailored for that. And uh, His Holiness was then, now, being labeled all kinds of names. Maybe for the people who are giving these names, it's an individual case, an individual perception. But His Holiness, for us, is the reincarnation of Avalokiteshvara, the Lord of Compassion. And His Compassion and his love extends beyond all this. And that really hurts us. Please understand this. We are hurt by the insinuations. Now, if, if I have to share you how His Holiness has been engaging with people all through his life. <coughs> Look at all the kind of pictures His Holiness and Desmond Tutu when Tutu was here, I was there. They are playing with each other like small children. Look at the picture with His Holiness with his pout and Tutu on the other side. That also, then you could say that oh, His Holiness may have sexual uh, whatever thing for Tutu. And then if His Holiness hugs an old lady also, does that imply that thing? <coughs> Not at all. So I, let me take a little bit of time because this is a serious issue for us. And uh, he, whenever you have seen His Holiness meeting with political leaders, I've heard of His Holiness holding ears of presidents 
and then touching foreheads. And that's the highest honor from a Buddhist perspective for a high lama to touch forehead with each other. And His Holiness is very unique in that sense. And that is why he is so famous. One of the, but what happened on that day was a little gross for some people. You know, and uh, so holding hands, nose rubbing, the Maori style. His Holiness is very happy doing that because since he was in New Zealand many years ago and rubbed nose, and he rubs noses with many of his guests. And I have been witness to many of these because now I was in Dharamsala for more than 35 years. What, 20, no, 25 years, 25 years. So I know how these things happen. Uh, and uh, then cuddling, sometimes holding your nose. So all these are part of His Holiness antics that His Holiness uh, does. And then forehead to forehead greeting are genuine manifestation of His Holiness compassion for all human beings, irrespective of their status in the society. And His Holiness was also used to play pranks or engage in jovial interactions to amuse the gathering. The fact of the matter on that day was this program was held in a public place, the Tsuglakhang just opposite to the residence of His Holiness the Dalai Lama on 28th of February. There were more than 120 college-going students, part of this M3M delegation, who asked to seek his audience. And uh, it was a public event that was covered by the media. And all these happened publicly, not everywhere else or anywhere else. And it was the same boy who we are envious because he got this opportunity to welcome His Holiness, hug His Holiness, all those blessings he got, but others perceive it differently. And it was the same boy when His Holiness arrived, he broke the coconut to welcome His Holiness, auspicious welcome. And then two members of the M3M delegation spoke at that event. Then His Holiness spoke at length about the topic and the seriousness of that topic nobody talks because that doesn't benefit anybody, that doesn't increase the TRP. You know, and then after His Holiness spoke, it was question and answer session. Three elders asked the question. Then the fourth one was this young boy again. And if you see the video, he was asking His Holiness, can I ask one question? Can I hug you? His Holiness didn't even understand that because His Holiness has little impairment in the left ear. So the translator was explaining to His Holiness that this boy wants to hug you. And His Holiness didn't hear well from the left. So the, or the right hand, another personal secretary of His Holiness informed His Holiness, this boy wants to hug you. Then His Holiness said, okay, come, come, come. It's not like His Holiness went on the boy and jumped on him. It's totally different, you know. And the boy's mother was sitting on the right hand side, just next to Professor Samdhan Rabache. And the mother was also asking the boy to come up. And just as we are Asians, we know how grandfatherly affection can be. But this went a little beyond. You know, so all these happened and then His Holiness gave an innocent grandfatherly affectionate Dimana and greeted the boy. That was followed by His Holiness jovial prank about the tongue. Okay? And uh, that was meant to be, from my perspective, that was meant to be amusement for, the, uh, for others. And this, all this happened in the presence of the family, of the mother. Now, after that, the videos that you don't see because it was tailored. After that, again His Holiness embraced the boy. Both embraced each other. Then His Holiness advised this boy, we are same human brothers and sisters. Now you should look at those good human beings 
who create peace and happiness and should not follow human beings who always kill other people. You should not look at those people. If you see the video, all those are there. If you want the full coverage, we will we'll try to make it available to you. From top to bottom, watch the whole thing. And then after the event, Radio Free Asia, Voice of Tibet, they interviewed many of the participants. And one of that was the boy, the same boy. And the boy said after the event that it was amazing. This is boy's words. The video is also there. It was amazing meeting with His Holiness. And I think it's a really great experience meeting somebody with so much, so high positive energy. It's a really nice feeling meeting him and you get a lot of that positive energy. It's not just like that. But once you get the positive energy, I think you are happier and it's a better thing to smile a lot more. It's really a good experience. This is just one of the transcription. There is another transcription with Radio Free Asia who had also interviewed the same boy. Now, speaking to Voice of Tibet, again, the mother of that boy after the immediately after the event the mother said since we are looking at seeking blessings from his holiness the dalai lama and today we got this opportunity especially my family was there with me all the students who graduated from i am power academy of skills were also present we are totally blessed to get this blessing from his holiness the dalai lama he came and addressed in person and taught about peace that the world needs and how everyone needs to feel together like brothers and sisters. I absolutely cannot express how I feel getting blessed by him. Thank you. That is the boy's mother. Now who is the victim? The mother is not a victim. The boy is not a victim. They are not complaining. The victim here is His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Now why is this happening? I have two conclusions to this. One, however, through our primary, through our in investigation and as per Prime FSE evidence, we found that the initial instigators are pro-Chinese sources. Now you are all journalists. Please find out how this resurfaced again and who is trying to use that. Chinese sources that ex that itself explains the motivation behind making this video clip viral. It needs no explanation as to who would gain from maligning the image, reputation and legacy of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Considering the scale and extent of the orchestrated smear campaign, the political angle of this incident cannot be ignored. Then, for the general public, who considers or who feels this is disturbing, we would appreciate if you could watch and listen to the full video of the event to get a holistic understanding of the whole program, including His Holiness speech. We are sure you will be able to differentiate between lust, lust and love. Yeah. That is where we fail. So, and, and the unfairness of defaming one of the most respected and liked global icons of peace. And that narrows the scope of due diligence and fair judgment from people who are making a judgment on this. It was amazing meeting His Holiness and I think it's a really great experience meeting somebody with such high positive energy. It's a really nice feeling meeting him and you get a lot of that positive energy. It's not just like that but once you get the positive energy I think you're happier and it's a better thing and you smile a lot more. It was a really good experience overall. I'm Dr. Payal Kanodia, trustee M3M Foundation. 
we've been working in dharamshala on this uh, skill center which we started last year and since then we were looking at seeking blessings from his holiness and you know today we got this opportunity and especially when my family was there with me and the, all the students who graduated from i am power academy of skills were also present we are totally totally blessed to have got this blessings from his holiness he came addressed us in person taught about peace that wo- the world needs and how everyone needs to feel together like brother and sister and i i absolutely cannot you know express how i feel getting blessed by him thank you thank you we are saying him and brother sisters thank you now you should look those good human being who create peace happiness uh, should not follow those human being who always killing other people you should not look these people